Hey, what's going on? It's Eric. Um, okay, everyone that knows me knows that I collect books. I'm like, um, there's actually a word for that. It's uh, I'm a, bib a bibliophile. It's like, a, it's a mental disease. It's like uh, hoarding. But you don't hoard junk, you hoard books. And that's me, I hoard books. But I'm not so bad, because I could, um, I could, you know, part with some of my books. Some of my books I can't part with, I'd rather die. But um, some books, you know, I could part with, I really don't care. And um, so it's not too bad. But I do have over, you know, 3,000 books. And so I figured I'd uh, do videos called Eric's Bookshelf and just talk about some of the books I have. Because I know there's other <clears throat> mentally ill people like me out there that love books and they might like it. I know I do. So anyway, so my first video on, on these books is going to be tattoo related. It's going to be about tattoo machines. <clears throat> so I just picked out a few. I mean, I have more, but these are my favorite ones. Well, of course, there's, there's my book that's like one of my favorite ones. And, you know, I got to mention this book. It's, um, <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> oh, man. Freaking allergies. Crazy. I'm actually feeling a lot better with my allergies, but I still get that cough every so often. <coughs> right in my throat, man. It's terrible. But anyway, the, um, because this, book kind of goes with the next book I'm going to tell you about. Because when I was writing this book, I started, you know, researching if there are other books out there, and I found a really awesome book that's already out there, and I'll talk about that one in a second. But <clears throat> people told me that that this, in my book, they said this, the chapter about frame geometry, which is right here, right there, um, was worth the price of the book itself. So, I don't know, I guess it's true. One one person told me, but, um, and it tells you other stuff about the tattoo machine frame and stuff like that, but we won't get into it because, you know, it's my book and I shouldn't really do that. But I did. So, okay. Anyway, the book that I found that is amazing tells you everything there is to know about a tattoo machine is this book. Tattoo Machine by Joey... There's, how do you say his name? I can't even pronounce it. Desormo? Joey Desormo? He owns, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, what the hell's the name of those machines? Um, oh, jeez. Oh, here they are. Infinite Irons. Um, his tattoo machines. And they're really good. I actually, I personally don't own one, but... I've always been meaning to get one, I just never did. And um, I worked with a guy that had a couple of them, and they were great, man. They were amazing. And uh, and he knows everything about tattoo machines. This guy, this it's a little book. It's, uh, let's see, it's got only like 25 pages or something like that. But it tells you everything. He just gets right to the point. He could have probably doubled or tripled this if he just wanted to put fluff crap in here, but he doesn't. Every every sentence is knowledge. You know what I mean? There's no bullshit in this book. And it tells you everything there is to know about the frames, about coils. What do you got here? The uh, the binding posts, you know, materials, what, what they're made out of, and uh, armature bars. It tells you everything, man. This guy... <clears throat> Desormo actually knows more about tattoo machines than Klauswitz knows about war. This guy knows his shit. And it's cool because uh, I follow him on Instagram. He's into guns, and I'm into guns. So that's great. I never met the guy. I would like to. We'd probably get along really well. But, um, but yeah, just he probably still sells it on his website. Um, let's see. Infinite. Here you go. <clears throat> Infiniteirons.com. Go there. You can find him on Instagram too. I don't know his Instagram page, but just type in Infinite Irons, Joey DeZormo. Spelt a little weird. It's probably French or something. There it is right there. You can copy it down. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so definitely get his book. And the other books, these aren't really books, these are magazines. 
and they're no longer available. Uh, machine gun magazine. Uh, sold by Icon up in Canada. A Canadian, a Canadian brothers up north. And I think there's eight of them. I only have seven. I think there's eight, so I'm missing the last one. If there's more, I don't know. There might be more that I don't know about, but I only I have one through seven. And they still have a few of them on their website. I checked. I actually ordered two of them that I was missing. They didn't have eight, but I ordered, uh, just ordered two I was missing. I don't even know which one they were. They were here. Yeah, here it is. I was missing five and four. So I just ordered those. And, um, yeah, these are really good. They tell you a lot of stuff in here, too. And, uh, you know, you got interviews with with people like Seth Safari discusses machines and being a tattooer. I hate that word, being a tattooer. Tattooer sounds stupid. But uh, yeah, but he, you know, you know, Seth Safari knows a lot about machines, so that's definitely the person to interview. And uh, you know, Cutting Springs. This is the first issue. You know. Oh, uh oh, I lost the page. Look at that shit, man. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. This is the premiere issue, too. Oh, well, shit happens, right? But, um, yeah, so he's got cutting cutting springs here. You know, every every issue just tells you so much stuff, man. Let's see what number two has. Uh, yeah, let's check out the freaking table of contents. We got uh, Project Machine Frame Styles, Reader's Machines. So I guess Reader sent in the pictures of their machines. How to clip cord repair. Uh, tattooing, what happened? What's your problem? You know, I guess they got some filler in here, but most of the stuff is pretty amazing. Really good stuff, you know. You learn a lot from looking at these. But uh, yeah, so just, they, they still have some issues available on their website, but they tell you that they're, uh, they're out of print, and once they're gone, they're gone. So that's it. You know, you can probably find them on eBay too. And, uh, and that's about it for the tattoo machine books. <clears throat> and so yeah man I'll talk to you later